So thank you, Mateo. That was very special. And um, I know that was very hard for him, but I want to thank him for introducing me. And I want to thank um, the River Delta Unified School District and Sacramento County Office of Education for this honor. And before I start my speech, I'm going to say that at the end of the third grade year, I looped with my class, so I had all of the same students. So they were all surprised to get the letter that I was teaching, but on the last day of school, they said, fourth grade? And I said, no, I'm, I'm staying in third grade. I knew at a very young age that I wanted to be a teacher. My aunt and role model started teaching in the 1970s. Each month, she'd mail me her unused purple inked dittos. My younger brother and a couple of his friends, sitting at makeshift school desks made from cardboard boxes, would agree to complete the work I assigned to them in exchange for more lost in space and less Brady Bunch time on the only TV in our house. After college and finishing the credential program, I couldn't wait to get started. I don't, think, I don't think we ever forget our first day of teaching in our own classroom. I know I won't forget my students in that sixth grade class. We worked hard that year. They learned from me and I learned from them. They taught me patience, resilience, and that we should never underestimate a child's ability to persevere through the difficult situations that come their way. I continued to teach various grade levels in general education for 25 years. My favorite grades to teach were second and third. That's where I thought I'd stay. And then I had an interesting conversation with my principal, Nick Casey, right here, out on the blacktop when the special education position um, suddenly became open at our school. Off the cuff, I made a remark, I should teach RSP. I wasn't serious, really. And he said, you should. And after considering it and encouragement from Nick and um, really thinking about my favorite parts of the day, which were working closely with those struggling students and helping them find success in ways that might be different than other, than, in ways that might be different than other students, I told him, okay, how am I going to do this? So I made the decision to make the journey into special education, and honestly, that decision has been one of the most rewarding decisions I've ever made in my life. It hasn't been easy. School was hard. I enrolled in a program that um, could be done after school, obviously, and I uh, taught in the special, edu special education classroom at the same time. I had a lot of homework, not only from my own classroom, but um, credential work that had to be done. I want to thank my very supportive husband, Mark, and my son, Sam, who really had to pick up the slack at home and understand that I wouldn't be available as much as I usually am for sporting events and, and family time. So I really thank them for that. The moral of, or the lesson in that is, be careful what you say to your principal on the <laughs> playground, because you never know what might happen. This, this past year has been challenging in that I was learning as, as I was going along. And as I reflect on that experience, I think it really helped me understand what my students go through when they um, need that extra support. My kids may not get the highest scores on tests, but I often say my kids are some of the hardest working kids on campus. I feel very lucky to work with my team at D.H. White Elementary School in Rio Vista. The term it takes a village to raise a child rings true, especially in education. From our amazing secretaries and general education teachers who devote countless hours preparing lessons to my principal, I love our team. 
I have to take a minute to, to thank um, the people I work with the closest, which are the paraprofessionals who I think don't get enough recognition, and especially Patty, who is my right-hand man, and she has helped me in so many ways. She pours her heart out to support the students in special education and help them reach their goals. Thank you, Patty. Congratulations to all the other educators being honored here tonight, and thank you to my family, friends, and colleagues for being here to support me.